Bye. Hello and welcome to our Speakeasy Podcast. Thanksgiving edition. Yeah. What's going on? What is up, John? It's Thanksgiving season. Yes, this is one of my personal favorite times of the year. Yeah, you like uh Thanksgiving? Well, it's like a kickoff, man. It's like the start. It's like it's a holiday season coming. To me, when it comes to Christmas time, you can't really kick Christmas off without doing Thanksgiving. And it's like almost like an introduction right there. Yeah. Uh, Black Friday for me, typically, or the week of Thanksgiving, when I start to look to maybe get my decorations up and do all that fun stuff. Uh, granted, there are plenty of people out there that like to put their decorations up like super, super early. Like now, I've seen a lot of decorations, or like not, not even less earlier than now. Like I'm talking like hol- right after Halloween. You know what I mean? What are you playing there? I didn't know there was a Thanksgiving song until right this moment right here. Yeah. I love the gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. Yeah, interesting. I do. I like Thanksgiving, man. It's an underrated... I think Thanksgiving gets like... It's like an afterthought, right? Because yep. Halloween comes and everybody's so excited because they get to dress up, they get candy and yep. wear makeup, blah, blah, blah. And then right after Halloween, it's like... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like Christmas, 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 Christmas. Yes. Wait a minute, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait a, minute. a minute. What about Thanksgiving, bro? What about Thanksgiving? Where did we stop being thankful? Yes. Come on. We are thankful the pilgrims came and, and gave the Native Americans malaria or whatever <laughs> they gave, <laughs> destroyed them all. Yeah. And we get to eat turkey. And we get turkey because that's the important stuff right here, guys. Yes. Is that we got to eat turkey. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it's so messed up. Why do people talk shit on Columbus Day yet we celebrate Thanksgiving? It's the same thing. Well, well Thanksgiving was more like the, right. it was the breaking of bread. It was the, yeah. hey, we're making peace. Yeah, we're we, killing you, but we're going to say peace. We're going to slaughter you. Yeah, but we're going to shake your hand. But first. we're going to have a turkey first, guys. Come yeah. on, let's do yeah. this. Come on. And a bourbon. And a and bourbon. bourbon. <laughs> and a bourbon. And break bread and uh, we're going to break your bones after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that, is that is that the story behind <laughs> it. I'm no not sure if that's exactly what happened. I think there, the but... Native Americans and the Pilgrims came together uh, peacefully and decided not to kill each other. Yes. We can share the land together. We know that didn't work out. Well, it was a lot of barter back then. You know, the natives would be like, "I'm going to make you this necklace and or leather or whatever." You yeah. know, and they made of bones from your people. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, then you know that's uh, that's how they did things. So uh, the turkey, I'm not 100 percent sure where that came from. I probably sure. should have looked that up. Maybe, but that's what we think of when we think of Thanksgiving. Um, the other thing too, I mean, there's other things locally, and I mean, I'm assuming the air, the New York Thanksgiving Day Parade, other than you know our area, right? I don't know. No, I'm sure it's a. Na- I think it's a national. Yeah. Thing. I think so. Uh, I, we just, um, my wife, my son and I, we were out in the city, uh, not too long ago. Uh, if you catch us a few episodes earlier, I talked about going to see Back to the Future on Broadway. Uh, we walked past, just happened to, it wasn't like a planned thing. We walked past the Macy's there. All right. They're getting set up, ready um, to go. Yeah. Uh, no, not then. <laughs> not at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but we walked past it because we're like, oh, we told our son, like, this is where they do all the yeah, dancing yeah. and all that stuff. And, um. I just don't like the lip syncing. I don't like the lip syncing yeah, yeah, with yeah. like the parade and stuff like that, you know, and oh. and how they are, That's all right. you know. But I guess they maybe. The, I mean, you would think the th- technology, Bluetooth, all that fun stuff nowadays, um, microphones that don't need. Which to be one do you watch? The though? They're two totally different parades, right? You watch the Channel Two or the Channel Four. The Channel Two has like all the Broadway music, and the Channel Four is just like parade. Yes, uh, I think we prefer that just the parade. Yeah, I'm the same. I don't want to hear all that. Yes. Musical, singing, dancing. But I do watch... I just want to see Santa Claus. I think it's Channel 2 that has the dog show afterwards. (laughs) I love the dog show. John's like Babes in Toyland, and that's all I care about. Um... Yes. Which is not even called Babes in Toyland anymore. It is not. It's what, March of the Wooden Soldiers or something? Very good, man. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. That is my Thanksgiving tradition. Yeah. Thanksgiving is not started until that, sh- until that movie's over. <laughs> that shit is over. That shit is over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, I, I love it. I, it's it's in, 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 in particularly, I don't know if you have anything like this in your neighborhood, 
Uh, but in my neighborhood here, we have what is called, they call it the Turkey Bowl. And we, it's all our, basically the whole neighborhood gets together at the one neighbor's house at their lawn. And uh, people bring refreshments, people bring um, coffee, donuts, et cetera, et cetera. They set it up on a table. Really? And, um, and the you kid, go to this? Yeah. Hmm? And the kids, uh, the, not my son's age, but a little bit older, they play football on the lawns and stuff like that. And kids are playing football. And hmm. uh, I, I'll bring a bottle of whiskey and some maybe a couple of beers sometimes. And and uh, we'll, we'll stand there and have beers and whiskey well, in the morning. Like, I'm talking like... Ten and eight, That's great. nine, ten, whatever That's in the morning. Awesome. I mean, well, I mean, you you grew up where I live, so you know that there's no such thing as that. Yeah. Opinion. Well, I didn't know how your neighborhood but, your neighborhood per se yeah. might be. My neighbors, know? I know two neighbors. I don't talk to any of them. Oh, uh, okay. But you know, uh, back in our day, we did football first thing in yeah. the morning in the cold. And, yeah. You know. That's yes, a great I remember. I, I never partaked in it, but you I remember. Did? No, I didn't. I uh, didn't, but I remember Rod. Didn't he like break his knee or something he like that? His knee. Yeah, we had to, he had to go to the hospital. Yeah, yeah we had a buddy uh, who, uh, yeah, injured himself pretty bad uh, doing the Thanksgiving uh, football. Yeah, that's interesting that you say that though. I mean, maybe that's something to start up. Uh, I'm a part of a lot of commissions uh, yeah. in town and, and involved, and that'd be a cool thing to meet. Have a Thanksgiving morning meet up somewhere. Sure. Where we all have coffee and be thankful for each other. Yeah. And, and uh, donuts and and yeah, just uh, whatever. It's not expensive. You get one of those big things of Joe, you know, from Dunkin' Donuts, and you get a freaking couple dozen donuts. Whatever. How much? I mean, you what just do you put something in my head? Yeah. Good man. Good. Man. Yeah. You never know. And you get together. You, you for you for instance. You, I mean, you can meet at a field or something. Yeah. yeah. Allen Park or something, mm-hmm. or whatever, or mm-hmm. something, and just uh, and do it. But yeah, we we do it every year, and I will always bring a bourbon or a beer or beers. And then now it's been more bourbon lately. And I'll I'll, I'll uh, there's and, nothing better than being drunk by noon on Thanksgiving morning. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. My wife typically doesn't participate because she has a fear of leaving our oven <laughs> i was gonna say she's home cooking i mean somebody's yeah. yeah i wouldn't throw a turkey in the oven and then leave <laughs> <laughs> uh, although we have found that our turkey has been cooking super quick every year dude same with your brother yeah your brother makes a turkey it's done in like 62 minutes and yeah like, how did you cook a turkey in an hour yeah i know it's What's crazy. going on is it technology uh, well it depends on the weight or? of the turkey um side note funny story last night I had these super thick ribeye steaks, mm-hmm. and speaking of neighbors, my buddy Andrew is my neighbor. He we, we went to Restaurant Depot uh, not too long ago, and we bought a freaking ribeye. And nice. I said, I said, Andrew, you're cutting that thing, and he cut it, but he cut it like super Ooh. thick. And um, we had come back from the lake, and I was like. I'm like, we need to make, we planned on making the steaks at the lake. It yeah. didn't happen. I'm like, we need to, they've been out for, I, I want to cook these tonight, you know? So we came home and she's like, my wife's like, it's going to be late by the time they're ready. I'm like, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. So they're so thick. So I had to do a reverse sear. Have you ever done a reverse sear? So you put it in the oven first and then you pan seared it. Yes. Mm. Yep. But typically a reverse sear, you're looking at maybe a 250 to maybe max like yeah, 275, 300. Yeah, slow cook yeah. it. I put it at 325. Yeah. I needed that thing to cook quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it came out. Came out great considering. It was a good it was a good nice marbled ribeye. So Excellent. I was like it was juicy. Um and yeah, it actually surprisingly enough came out considering the rush. I got it ready within an hour. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um medium medium rare. What do you Medium rare. Medium rare. And I did a couple potatoes in the. So basically, now now we're. To, it's okay. This, this is the kind yeah, of episode. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I took um, two. Uh, my wife didn't want one, but I did two potatoes, rinsed them off, took my fork, stabbed them a few times, mm-hmm. put them in. The, I nuked them for five minutes. Okay. Turn them over for an additional two or three minutes. Okay. Freaking perfect baked potato. Oh, right out of the microwave? Yeah. Ooh. Slice. Crack, slab of butter on each. Do you have an air fryer? Cheddar, bacon. Oh, you went all out. Loaded it up. Oh yeah, I don't have. To, I didn't have chives, but sour cream. Sour cream. Put it on top. My son is an addict to to uh, to uh, Mexican street corn. Oh, I, I, had, nice. I had some corn boiled. Nice. Boiled some corn. Did the Mexican street corn, and uh, yeah, it was good. I have an air fryer. To answer your question, by the way. Uh, Baked potato in an air fryer is 
stupendous. Oh, is it really? Yeah, the outside gets a little crisp on that skin. Okay. And the inside gets nice and 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 what do you soft. do? Soft. What do you do? What's the process? Tell me. Uh, same. Stab the shit out of it with a, with a fork. Okay. Uh, I olive oil it. Oh. A lot of salt so on the outside. That's where you get that crisp. Yeah. A lot of salt on the outside. Okay. Throw it right in. I do about about ten minutes. Okay. Um, check it, flip it. You know, because some potatoes are this big. Do you that flip big. it within that ten minutes? No, I wait for the ten minutes and then I flip it. And then how much longer after you flip it? It depends on the potato. If the potato's ready to go, I'll do it another two. Okay. Um, you don't even really have with an air fryer. You don't even really have to flip, flip it because it. Okay. the air the air is being circulated okay. underneath. Um, oh, and I did bacon on it too. I did I did uh, some chopped bacon on so mine. Chopped bacon. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. crispy, yeah. crispy. Got to make it make sure it's well done. Uh, big potato and air fryer is, is superb. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to try. If you're if you're looking if you like that crispy skin, if you don't mind not the crispy skin, the microwave is probably the place to go because it was, you throw it in the oven, it's there for like an hour. It was it was yeah. ready in seven minutes. Yeah. So yeah. when I was tr- doing everything else, getting the steak, letting it rest for a second, and doing all that fun stuff, the yeah. the potatoes were in. Yeah, a, I've done potatoes in, in the microwave. I've done corn in the microwave. Yeah. You know, corn on the cob in the microwave is not bad. I and, I, the, sh- and the shit. That's comes not right the off, first but, time I've heard that actually. Yeah, it comes right off. Yeah, I'll have to do it. But let's um. We forgot. What are we doing? <laughs> Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. All right, guys. We have some, because it's you know Thanksgiving time right now. Um, we're, 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 we are going to do the wild turkey. <laughs> uh, 70th anniversary. Speaking of which, we just recently celebrated our anniversary on this we show. We did. Uh, we did uh, this is our... Um, 152nd episode. So 152nd. Episode 2 of season 4. 4. Yeah, we've done quite a few. And if uh, you're doing our just our whiskey segment here, um, you know, uh, check out our regular episode too as well. Um, but this is uh, Jimmy Russell's uh, anniversary release, age at 8 years. This is, tip- this is basically, this is Wild Turkey 101. Yeah. I, I feel bad, man, because when we went to Kentucky, I really wanted to go to Wild. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. I, I don't even know if it's that I really wanted to. I just wanted to meet Jimmy Russell, man. He's there a lot, apparently. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we missed out. We missed out. Uh, this is going to be a fresh crack. Um, but apparently, uh, from what I've been seeing, what I've been hearing, it's not like your typical 101. <laughs> not at all. It's supposed to be really good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's see. Like I said, age eight years. I mean, age eight years. Look at your your aged bourbons. I mean, that's a good age statement, right? Yeah. There. I mean, eight years ago, I was thirty nine years old. So yeah, I'll take that. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, yeah. And it's uh, like I said, it's it's a one on one proof. So like I said, it's, it's your wild turkey one on one. But that's okay. it's uh, you know, like I said, there's there's, there's a little bit more zhuzh to this one, I think. But let's see. A little more who? I don't know. Zhuzh. 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 Johnny. And he, he's got his name on there. Jimmy Russell, man. That guy's like. He is the man. He's there forever. That's a special episode. I'll give you a little more of that. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. I mean, the notes, I taste stuffing. I smell <laughs> stuffing. I smell mashed potatoes. It, it tastes wild. I smell <laughs> string bean casserole. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wild turkey. Took a straight bourbon whiskey right here, baby. I'm going to put this... Uh, this is If you catch our regular episode, actually, uh, we do uh, beer on it once in a while, too. But uh, for Right now, it's just about the whiskey. Yeah, we're going to just do the whiskey. We're going to bring that beer back in a couple. See where we are, uh, what um, state we are uh, yeah, in the episodes yeah. in when we start putting the beer out when we're not supposed to put it out. Yeah, that's <laughs> that okay. was probably my that was my fault. I actually put it there. Fault. We didn't think about it. Yeah, but we're doing just a whiskey too mm-hmm. on this. So let's get this nose. All right. Mm. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna agree with me, but I get a little orange peel. I get a little citrus in there. Oh, man, I'm getting I'm getting dark dry fruit. Okay, isn't the weirdest thing where you just wa- you're watching two men like? <laughs> <sighs> oh, there goes my things. <laughs> <laughs> two men sniffing whiskey like it's the best, the cocaine straight from yeah. Miami. Uh, there I am. I'm back. Can we roll this in a dollar bill here? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's got to be the oddest thing. I'm getting a lot of dark dried fruit. In my okay. honest opinion, though, I'm getting a lot of dark dried fruit. Um, no citrus. I, got the, I get the dark dry fruit. Like raisin, I'm talking like... Date. 
Yeah. Are you asking me out? Yeah. Let's 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 uh let's see how this one tastes. Cheers. Okay. It's good. It's very subtle, Mrs. Estherhouse. Yes. Um. There's. It's, it's 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 very smooth. Yeah, we hate to use smooth, but it's smooth. Uh, it's it's easy. Easy it's drinks. Easy, easy drinking. Yeah. Um, I'm getting a yeah, slight Kentucky hug. Are you? Slight. Slight. Very slight. Slight. Very not slight. like not like oh my god, feel that Kentucky hug. No. But it's good. I would pop this open for a Thanksgiving dinner because it is uh, easy drinking. Mm-hmm. It's something I would share. Um, it's not a high killer proof, so people aren't going to be blacked out after. You know, maybe I'll bring this one out for the turkey bowl. I'll pack it in the bag. Mm. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um, oh. I do taste that raisin. I do taste that dry fruit. Um, yeah, that dark dried. When we talk about dark dried fruit, we yeah, we're talking about raisin. We're talking about plum. We're talking about yeah. you know some of those darker fruits, um, as opposed to like light dried fruit, which would be like your peaches and things of that sort. Uh, but this is, um, I'm I'm getting some spice to it. I'm getting some. Dude, I'm I am still getting citrus in there, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm still getting a little citrus in there. Yeah. Well, I'm getting a little slight hints of black pepper. Yeah, a little bit, maybe white pepper. Not super sweet. Not no. super sweet. No, no, it's not sweet. I'm not getting that that caramel vanilla note. No, I'm, I'm getting more of that spicy, yeah. um, dark fruit, little mm-hmm. citrus note. Um, yeah. This is very good, man. Uh, yeah, overall. This is very smooth. It's good. This is something to whip out for Thanksgiving dinner. Like, this is, is it, you're not putting anybody to sleep. It's not overbearing. No. Uh, this is this is perfect, Yeah, man. it's a good, right, hey, right after I got. dinner. And it feels pretty cool, too. You're like, I got the 70th anniversary, or was it not 70th? What did I say? Yeah, 70th. Yeah, it is 70th. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. 70th anniversary, um, some, some good Jimmy Russell juice right here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Overall, not bad. I like it. I mean, like I said, um, is this? Uh, can you find this at a store, or was this a, a special buy? Yeah, I found it at a store. I got it at a store. Okay. All right, let's put it this way. Um, I saw online someone had posted, "Oh, I found this Wild Turkey 70th at a particular store." And you, I didn't go to that store. It was a chain yeah. of stores, like a small chain of stores, like okay. in New Jersey. Like there's like four of them or something, four or five of them. Okay. And I had gone to the one store that's not super far from my house. Okay. And I said, okay, um, do you have this? I saw your other location had this. And they said, we do not have this. But we can get it to you by tomorrow. Oh, okay. And I said, okay. Does that store begin with an A? No. no. A B? No. A C? No. A D? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was... I saw a store on the way here, and I was like, oh, I didn't know there was more than one. Wait, did you mention a B in there? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, it does. Yeah, Start with yeah. a B. Bottle King? No. Um, yeah, whatever. Bourbon Street. Okay. Uh, I thought maybe you were thinking about Adelphia. No. I saw Adelphia and Bernardsville on the way here, and I didn't know there were multiple. Yes. So you, the cool thing about Adelphia and Bernardsville is that you can get you can get some of the picks that you see down from East Brunswick up really? here once in a while. Yes. That's good to know, because yes. I did not know that. Yes. And I was running a little late to meet you. I was. I would have. Would have liked to stop in there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. A <laughs> uh, good stuff. Wild turkey. Stuff, Jimmy Wild Russell, turkey. man. Uh, I mean, you, you are a legend, man. Happy Thanksgiving, uh, Jimmy. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. And uh, don't mind our gobble gobbles here. Gobble go go go. Good stuff. Sure. So yeah, as far as Thanksgiving goes, and as far as. Traditions. We've talked about this, but yeah. you know, we we love to share. It's just that time of year. We get so hyped yeah. to talk about this, and we don't care if we repeat ourselves once in a while. Yeah, no. Uh, but w- as far as turkey cooking, uh, you don't always host. No, every other year. Okay. So when you host, mm-hmm. do you have any kind of turkey traditions? How you make your turkey? Anything along those lines? I don't. I mean, I I I, I soften my butter uh, with 
with my spices or uh, my spices. So you use your sage. You might use like certain Parsley, thyme. Thyme, yeah, yeah. And you you do a nice like a butter kind of. Uh, but a, a lot pa- of yes. butter. Like that okay. whole thing is. But there's butter all over. Are it. you more of a slit or a s- kind of slide no, under? The I go skin? under the skin. Yes, I go under skin. I finger. You remove that, that skin. skin. No, remove. you separate. I mean, you don't remove it. You separate it yes, from the. Yes, I'll yes. go under with a little knife. Yes, yes. Remove yes, it from yes, the yes. from the meat. Okay. And then I go under. I go under. I go inside. Yeah. And I go outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I go inside and I go outside. And you go inside. Uh, I don't. I do not believe in stuffing my turkey. We. I no. don't like that. No. Okay. Now, when I say, when you say when, stuffing your turkey, are you saying okay. stuffing with stuffing? Yes. No. I'll throw some maybe carrots, celery, okay. onions in there. I do not like my physical stuffing going in the turkey. Okay. To me, that grosses me out a little bit. Okay. I, I know it's cooked. I know. It still grosses me out a little bit. No, I don't do that either. Okay. But I do agree with you on I do lemons. Okay. I do onions, half onions. Yeah. And I'll do that, and I'll stuff that actually in the turkey. I never did lemons. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, mm. lemon. Get a little citrus on and it. And I'm going to be honest. I don't even know if that makes a difference. Well, do you like? But I do it. Chicken. Do you like chicken franchise? Oh or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or piccata. I'm, I'm I'm just saying. I don't even know if stuffing the turkey with those vegetables even give it flavor. No, it's not that. It's moisture. I I hope so. Yes, hope but so. no, but no. It'll give it if you have, dude. If you shove an onion in anything, yeah. you shove a, a a clove of garlic in anything. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna give it flavor. All right. It's gonna give a flavor. Oh. So you uh, you can even do apples. You can do Ooh, sliced apples. You can do something like that. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, anything because think about it. Look at look at anything. How much moisture is in an onion? How much moisture is in an apple? How much moisture is in a lemon? How much moisture is in there? And you're taking something. You're adding extreme heat. Heat moisture equals steam. So that steam is coming through on that turkey. Correct. Correct. And and it's also that it's cooking the turkey as well. Now, I will do say one thing, though. I do start my turkey. You will do say one thing? I will do say one thing. I start my cook my cookie. <laughs> I start my turkey <laughs> in a bag. Okay. I buy the turkey bag, uh, and I do cook it in the bag for a couple hours. So like a cheesecloth or similar? Plastic bag. Okay. It's made for for. I've done cheesecloth before. Yeah, but yeah. No, never did a cheesecloth. Um, it, it's like Reynolds turkey bag. Wait, 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 wait. Cooking it, you're saying? I'm cooking it, yeah. You put the whole turkey in the bag with everything, so the juices steam inside the Interesting, bag. interesting. And then after a couple hours or a few hours, I take that bag off. Yeah. And then I let the outside... Crisp. Crisp. You yeah. need that crisp skim. Yeah. And it's always juicy, man. It's always juicy. Do you brine? Uh, I, I have brined before. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. Be honest. And I might sound like a fool. It's true. When I brined and I haven't brined, I felt like there was no difference. Okay. Well, with brine, when you're doing brine, it's a lot of it's salt. It's salt, 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 salt. And, and so when you're having something sit in there, it's like uh, marinating in a way, you know, because yes. you're, you're adding those flavors are sinking in, they're doing their yes. job. What can salt do to meat? Right. It can make it softer. It can make it break it down. It can be a little more juicier. It can make it, there's things it can do. I mean, I think a good brine needs to be in a bucket, and it needs to be a couple days. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll do it like the night before, and I don't. I just don't think it's enough time. Yeah. Um. So. So let me tell you this. Last year, I did a Ina Garten recipe. It came out great. I like the turkey. You brined it? No, I did not. But have you have you ever brined? Uh, that's what I'm getting okay. into. We had an extra free turkey from like Shoprite or something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. and we had it in the freezer. And I told my wife, I said, "We got to make that turkey at some point." But I said, now I was more willing to feel a little bit more experimental with it because I wasn't serving a bunch of people. Okay. Oh, so it was just for you guys. It was just oh, for yeah. us. Yeah, absolutely. So I said, I'm going to brine it, and then I'm going to follow the Ina Garten, Garten, whatever freaking name is, recipe. Yep. And that's with with her recipe. It was just a, you know the herbs, the spices, all that buttering. How to do this and that, adding the lemons and onions and all that fun stuff into mm-hmm. the inside, mm-hmm. using the thyme and all the fun freaking whatever. Um, so I still did that, okay. but I decided to brine it the night before. I bought a brine bag. Okay. And uh, I did the brine prior, and it, dude, it made a difference. Game changer. Game changer. The Maybe turkey it, was. Did just, you boil your water first? Sometimes your brine, you, you, you 
they tell you to boil it with I the lemons I and did. the salt. I did. Okay. I'm trying to remember back. I did. See, I, I didn't. I think I just used cold water no. and threw some shit in there. No, I boiled I really it. Came to room temp. Yeah, came to room temperature. Okay. Yes, I think I did. I, I, I you know what? I'm gonna find the rest. I'll send it to you. Okay. Um, yes, I, I just think I didn't do it right. It came out fantastic. So much so, where we had originally intended to maybe give some of it away to other people because yeah. it was a big turkey, right? And I was like, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of meat. And then we were like, no, <laughs> it ain't happening. We kept it all for ourselves because it was that good. See me, I'm not a, I'm not a dark meat guy. Yeah. So. If I was having a small Thanksgiving, maybe just my immediate family, I'd Man. go for the turkey breast. I wouldn't even buy a whole turkey. Ooh, he likes um, the breast. I, I'm a booby guy. I, you know, yeah. I'm not into the legs. Yeah. Um, dark meat grosses me out. Yeah. It does. Um, but having a bunch of people over this year, you know, I will do the whole turkey with the legs and all the blah, blah, blah. But I believe this year I'm going to try for the first time, I am going to spatchcock. My turkey. We were just talking about this. And I'm going to try it, man. The whole spatchcocking thing. I mean, so you, you flip your turkey upside down and you, you cut out that backbone uh, because the breast and the dark meat are supposed to be uh, two different temperatures, yeah. right, when you're cooking it. Yeah. This evens everything out. You take out that backbone, you flatten it out, boom. Uh, you tuck your, your wings back, you tuck your legs back, and it, it's supposed to cook really, really nice. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I started to try it two years ago. My scissors that I have, my cooking scissors, <laughs> just it, they, it wouldn't go through the. And I was yeah. like, I forget. I'm like, this is too much work. I I try not, John. I try not to get too fancy with it myself. I tie them. I tie everything back. I tie you know the legs or whatever and the yeah. drumsticks and all that fun stuff. That's where I I'm like, I'll put a price. Uh, it's or, intimidating, dude. I will sacrifice. At that point, if it's going to be better, even if it tastes better. Just to have that tradition of having that nice roasted turkey, that whole big turkey, exactly coming out of the oven. I prefer that. So you don't Even want to if spatch it tastes cock it, I don't want to cock it, but you know, yeah, yeah. I'm. I think I'm going to try it. I think I really. I think this year is the year I'm going to try it. Yeah, we'll see. And yeah. it's supposed to cook like half the time. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. There's, there's not as much. Yeah. You no, know. and there's no underneath. Everything's just it's it's flat. It's yeah. laid out. So. Yeah. We'll see. I may, I may not. Like I said, if I can't get that cock, like I can't cock it right, I'm not going to do it. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's me. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and honestly, my Thanksgiving, uh, I don't enjoy my turkey till the next day. Uh, I'm cooking right all day, and I'm prepping, and you're tasting. I had this. I can't do it until the next day. I found this recipe recently. I was intrigued by. I printed it on my printer. I should, I should. I should go grab it real quick. Um, I think it's over there still. Um, I have my printer downstairs here, and uh, it looked delightful. And I want to show it to you. It was, I think it was turkey. It not necessarily. All right. All right. I'll be right back. So but you'll you get talk. that. I'll talk about the beer. I'll bring out the beer back. All right. Look here. We're back. Guess who's back? Back again. Uh, I love Thanksgiving. I love turkey. Uh, I love mashed potatoes. Although, I do prefer a good sweet potato over mashed potatoes. Uh, I'm a big string bean casserole guy, though. I love string bean casserole. Uh, I love stuffing. I make my own stuffing. I use chopped meat and rice. Uh, I go back to an old Italian recipe that was handed down from my aunt. I make it homemade. I make a bunch of batches because people seem to love it. Uh, and here comes Ken. I'm hitting everything. He's hitting everything, and he's got his... And what is this? All right. This is a turkey recipe? Ow. All right. Oh, Check this out. Up. Check this out. <clears throat> Check this out. Easy cranberry turkey stuffing recipe. Oh, balls. Meatballs. Stuffing balls. Yeah. And I, pr I saw it, and I'm like, I got to print this out. I got to do this at some point. Ground turkey, dried cranberries, and savory... <laughs> So it's basically. So this is your leftover. Is this your leftover? I don't. No, 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 no. This is just a recipe for for basically Thanksgiving themed meatballs. Where are you getting ground turkey? You buy ground turkey at the store. Do it. Oh yeah, turkey meat. Yeah, too stupid. It's like instead of hamburger meat, you get ground turkey if you're if you're. But I mean, what are the ingredients there? Uh, no, you had it. 
One pound of ground turkey, two cups of stuffing mix, half a cup of dried cranberries, quarter cup of chicken broth, one egg, dried sage, dried thyme, salt and pepper, and butter. I don't know, man. It seemed so, pretty cool to me. I have seen stuff like this before, but yeah. without the ground turkey. I've yeah. just seen stuffing balls. Oh. And it was like the new way to make stuffing. Make stuffing balls. And I was like, oh, interesting. This and seemed pretty cool. This is cool. To me, honestly, this looks pretty cool with like your leftovers. Like if you chop up the real turkey. Yes. And maybe make like, But then you have to cook it twice, so keep that in mind. Well, it's already cooked, right? So you're just kind of baking it just to... Uh, yeah, I guess to heat it up. Just to heat it up. Yeah, with the stuffing and stuff like that. But it... <laughs> Salud. <laughs> oh, these damn turkey heads. Uh, but yeah, this I was intrigued. I saw this. It like popped up somewhere. And it I was, is very intriguing. I'm like, I got to freaking make this, man. I, t- turkey meatball. Like, I love... So John and I have done on our show... Like chicken meatballs? Uh, no, we've done... Um, uh, Milburn Deli, the gobbler. Yes. On our show here, where we've actually had it on the show, and yes. we've done it before the show plenty of times, um, yes. and now I want a gobbler right now. And it's like the it's like a turkey, it's a sandwich with your roasted turkey meat, and then it has the um, cranberry sauce, the stuffing, all the fun good goodness, you know. Have oh, you tried the absolutely. Wawa gobbler? No. Well, Wawa's known for their gobbler. Really? During this time of year. Yeah. I'm going to tell you. What is it? No, nah, nah, tell me, tell so me, tell Wawa me. Wawa is, it's not deli turkey. It's thick slices of, thick chunks of turkey. All right. Gravy, stuffing, and a cranberry, like, aioli. All right. Maybe, on a bun with a lot of gravy on it. You can get it with stuffing or mashed potatoes. Every Wawa has this shit? Every Wawa has it this time of year. I had it for the first time two weeks ago. All right. It was Fucking tremendous, dude. Yeah. It was tremendous. Really? And the chunks of turkey were like thick. It wasn't like deli turkey. It yeah. was chunks of turkey. No. It was good, dude. Yeah. It was very messy though. I ate it with a fork. I added ch- melted cheddar on top of it. <sighs> Sold. <laughs> I'll have to try that one, man. Listen, Wawa is like the fast food. Well, we of just got a brand new Wawa up uh, not too far from here. Dude, you got to try it, man. Yeah, you do got to try it. They, you can get it in a bowl or a sandwich. The sandwich you can't beat the sandwich it's on a long, a nice roll. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's and good. how do you order that? You, I go on the app and I order the the Wawa gobbler. Oh, there's an app, and you oh, just go right Wawa on Wawa app. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh man, now I'm, a, do this. I'm a, I, Wawa's down the block from my work, so I'm there yeah. twice. Two to three times a week. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got here, Johnny? All right, so this is coming from uh, Treehouse. Uh, we do a lot of tree. Jay's been <laughs> has yeah. been giving us a lot of Treehouse. Yeah. So it's our buddy been... Jay went up there and he brought home a lot of stuff. So he uh, this one he, he gave to you. Yeah. Uh, this is called uh, it's Juice Machine. If you haven't recognized this, right? We've done Juice Machine before, but this is Juice Machine Peach, and it is an IPA, and this is coming in at eight point two percent. And it is their regular juice machine that is flavored with a little bit of peach, peach. flavor. Sure. Sold. You, you can't go wrong with peach, man. Uh, oh, man. my God. You smell it right off the uh, bat, dude. Stop. That smells delightful. Cheers. Wow. That's nice. Wow. That's nice. I taste the peach, man. Yeah. I taste the machine. I taste the juice machine. I want to feed the machine. the machine. I want to feed it. Feed I the machine taste, peaches. I can taste the machine. <laughs> it's like motor oil. Uh, but yeah, no, this is oh, delightful. It's freaking phenomenal. So <clears throat> I'm getting that peach more on the finish. Yeah, that that that's freaking delicious, man. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest. That might be one of the best tree houses I ever had. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It's juicy. It's peachy. Yeah. It's like. Tropical island hanging out, but not super tropical. Jay, if you're watching, uh, hit me up if you have any extra. I'll buy them all. Yeah, this is good, man. Yeah. And this is what I like to do when I'm cooking Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, Yeah, dinner. So I normally do my Thanksgiving dinner around what? Like four-ish? Three-ish? Oh, you're you're, uh, later than me. I do it earlier. Yeah. Yeah, no, I do about three or four. I start cooking earlier, but yeah, we'll we'll eat like four. But I'll do like two or three beers, like why I'm cooking. You know, that's the best thing, man. You're drinking your beers and... And, and you're cooking, and that's why I don't like my Thanksgiving dinner to the following day because I'm drinking, yeah. I'm cooking, I'm I tasting, know. and I can't enjoy. By the time you got to eat, you're full. Yeah. 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 So my wife, because I'm a huge apps guy too. Like my, I love making the app. Yeah, 
I agree. I agree. I like making that stuff. My wife makes a stuffing. Um, she does a sausage, sausage stuffing or whatever. Yeah, I have a special stuffing recipe. Here. Yeah, and it, and she does she does a cornbread sausage stuffing, and that's a tradition uh, with our family. Yeah. Uh, growing up, I did a lot of stovetop. I know it's pathetic, but I love that stovetop stuffing. <laughs> it was one of those things. Like I'd go to my mom. We used to go to my mother's for Thanksgiving every year, and I'm like, "Mom, did you make the stuffing?" And she's like. Oh no, I didn't make stuffing. Uh, my mom it, it was isn't originally because uh, uh, she made uh, Benin and, and arroz con condules. Some, some pernil, <laughs> yeah. Pernil. My mom is uh, not from originally from uh, our U.S. of A. So it was um, U.S. of A. U.S. of A. <laughs> Very was, nice. So we did uh, more uh, Puerto Rican traditions and stuff. Oh, that garbage island. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Um, but we did, you know, we still had our turkey. It yeah, was always yeah, traditional. Yeah. We had our turkey. But a lot of times she wouldn't remember like certain things like the stuffing or the cranberry sauce. Yeah, yeah. So I'd, I'd always have a couple boxes in the house and I'm like, I'll, I'll make some stovetop. But I, I, I actually really like the stovetop stuff. Right. You know? do. It was good. But my wife does make the stuffing and hers is spectacular. Yeah. I make my own stuffing. It's a it's a recipe handed down from my aunt. Oh, uh, and it, it includes white rice, ground beef. White rice is it a rice ball or stuffing, yeah. no, dude. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, fresh bread. Yeah, and it, it's really really good. It sounds good. Mushrooms, celery, mushrooms. Yeah, a lot of That's good. Yeah. Might get that savory in there. It's man. really yeah. good, man. It's really good. Everybody nice. loves it. Um, so I, it's an old recipe that she got from her mom, who got from her mom, and yeah. and, and I make it now Thanksgiving. Nice. Um, yeah. And then, you know, my in-laws come over. So when I host, it's my in-laws. When I go to my parents, so every other year, it's either my parents or my house. When it's my house, it's my in-laws. Yeah. Uh, my parents stay home regardless. Um, so I'll either go to their house. They don't come to mine for Thanksgiving. Yeah, why not? Uh, it's just a thing we do. Because they have uh, my stepmother's sisters come over. Oh, uh, okay. Always. Gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. And then we just, I alternate myself. All right. Um, so my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law, Frank, he'll, he'll you know, they'll make the the... Arroz con gandules and you know yeah. the pork and all that. Does he bring his uh, coquito or no? Yeah, he makes coquito, <laughs> uh, and we'll we'll uh, you know I'll make the traditional stuff. Yeah, some apps, you know. Nice. Do you have a, a veggie that you usually a go-to veggie at all, like spinach or asparagus or Brussels sprouts? My st- string beans. Oh, oh, it's a string. Beans. String bean casserole, one of my favorite dishes. Yeah, yeah. I'll make that. Um, I'll even do glazed carrots. Is that hard uh, to make? What string bean casserole is that hard? No, to make? no, no, no. Maybe I'll try that this year. Yeah, no, it's just. Uh, I I plan on doing cream spinach. Yeah, it's just uh uh you, you boil the the, the string beans mm-hmm. just to get them a little little soft. Yes, yeah, so like soft. al dente. Okay. Uh, cream of mushroom soup, and the French's onions. And you mix it all together. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's the best. It's the best. But you got to use fresh. Yeah. Green beans. You can't use canned. All right. It's got to be fresh. But you're using like mushroom soup. But you're candles. using mushroom soup. That's the that's the, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> French, so and I take my French's onions and I'll mix half of it in with it. What's French's onions? I'm sorry. What is that? Those onion strings, like onion straws. Oh that yeah. Come in big, big, oh, you know, okay. crunchy. I got you. And then you bake it, and they're they're like oh, oh so yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah I'll be, I, maybe I'll cross that bridge. Last year, I think I did uh, Brussels sprouts with uh, maple bacon. I don't like Brussels sprouts. You know. Oh, are you shit me, man? Yeah, no. Ooh. They shit on me. That's why I know. I don't oh, know. okay, I got you. But I love a good glazed carrot, though. Baby carrots, boil okay. them a little bit. Okay. Brown butter, uh, brown sugar. Do you do little cinnamon? Deviled eggs and all. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? You know that. Um, if you haven't watched our podcast before or anything, John has a issue with boiled eggs. It's yes, it's like garlic to a vampire. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Yeah, you don't want to do it. No, but I'll do stuffed mushrooms or you know. Yeah. I we're we're probably will stick to the I, I hate to say basics, but we'll do our turkey. My wife will make the stuffing. I will do the deviled eggs. Yeah. Um. I will do the um homemade some gravy. You know, brown gravy or yeah. white gravy or whatever I decide to go with. Um. Sometimes my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law makes cranberry sauce. Yeah. So my wife makes cranberry relish. Okay. And it's uh, uh she buys a bag of cranberries and it's cut up apples. Uh-huh. Uh. I don't know if there's pineapple in there. And she just does something to it. And it's a relish. It's yeah. not really a sauce. Yeah. Oh, man. It's so good, dude. It sounds delightful. It really is good. Yeah. You know, honestly, for appetizers, I don't do much. I'll yeah. do, like, meats and cheeses and olives. And that's my thing. And bruschetta. I'll make yeah. a nice bruschetta. 
I'll go to Vinny's Mutts. I'll get some fresh mutts. You know, stuff oh like gosh, that. Vinny's That's Mutts here. Are you a big olive guy? You like olives? I'm a huge olive guy, yeah. You know, I recently had, for the first time, I mean, there's black olives, there's Kalamata olives, mm-hmm. there's, you know, your typical green olive stuff with pimentos and all mm-hmm. that fun stuff. Uh, but I, I'm going to butcher it. It's like ca- Casa Valtron or Casa Val- uh-huh. Um, Toronto. Those, those those bright green oh. that are this big with the had them for the first it. time. Freaking fantastic! Oh, they're great, man. Yeah, they're great. We just bought a huge jar from Costco because I told my wife, I said those olives are fantastic. So now they make those big olives, right? And they take out the pit. I don't know how they do it, mm. and then they stuff it. If you can get it stuffed with feta or blue stuffed cheese, blue cheese, yeah, stuffed with almond, which is delicious. Uh. My favorite one. And people look at me and they're like, "What?" Stuffed with anchovy. You don't even taste the anchovy. Okay. It's just a salty, good taste. Let me think. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna piggyback on what you just said right there. And I don't know if they even make something like this. And it's just a thought that crossed my mind. Just afraid the beak's gonna go on fire. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> what if you stuffed an olive with something like a fruit or something sweet, like a raisin or oh, something? I'm sure that'd be delicious, I, dude. I've had uh, olive stuffed with uh, uh, garlic, like a whole clove of garlic. Ah. Uh, you can stuff an olive on everything. Man. Yeah, olives are good, dude. Because you got that salty, right? Yeah, yeah. If you put salty, a, sweet. You throw a date in there. So Puerto Ricans, uh, you know, my culture, with my, you know, we we it's a lot of salty, sweet, savory, they, sweet, savory, sweet. Savory, why do you sweet. celebrate Thanksgiving? You know what I mean, you know, yeah. it's an American thing, right? Well, I was born. I'm American, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's like oh. Uh, you know, I mean, you're Italian, but why do you celebrate? Yeah, I don't know. I have no clue. You know? But you, actually, I'm I'm no, technically, sl- what am I? Am I? Fr- I'm not first. Gen- am, am I first? My mother's my mother We're, is not from here, but my father was. So, so you're American? Yeah, yeah. For, that's that's a weird one. Yeah. First and a half, and that includes your wife. Yeah, because your uh, your mother-in-law was born where? Here. So, same thing. I think it's my father-in-law that wasn't. Yes. Right. He was born here. Yeah. His father-in-law but my is parents, my uncle. my parents were here. It was my grandparents were not. So, so I'm yeah. just 100%. So you're second generation. I'm just 100. Second, yeah, second generation. So, I'm technically kind of first generation, but yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Who knows? Interestingly enough. But as far back to um, what we were saying, Thanksgiving Day, you wake up. Yeah. You go down to your family room or living room, whatever you want to call it. What are you doing? Turkey goes in first. Okay. Right? Obviously. Tur- no, you start your turkey that early. Yeah. And you do. Because I like it to sit for, yeah. Once it's done cooking, it's got to sit for a while. You start that early. Yeah. I do. Turkey goes in about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like when we were younger, like our parents used to want, cook it overnight, though. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, now it's like, it's so different now. Yeah. I feel like it's like, you know. I don't have a new oven, though. My oven's old, so, I mean, the newer ovens, that shit might be done in 90 minutes, where mine, mine's not. Yeah. It needs that time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I honestly, you, like, the night before. John, talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me more. Thanksgiving Eve, I don't go out. Remember we used to go out Thanksgiving yeah. Eve? I can't now because I'm prepping. I'm cutting all my I onions. I know. You're making the cutting food. This, I'm cutting this. I'll even make my stuffing the night before, and then I'll put it back in the oven the day because it's got to bake for a while. closes for that week. So we're, I, I'm, I'm good to start early. Thanksgiving? I make the week of. It just, it's just the way yeah. it's been working. Yeah. They, yeah, no. They, they give oh, us yeah. those days off. I, so Thanksgiving Eve, well, my job will close an hour early. Yeah. So instead of getting out of four, yeah. I'll get at three. All right. But I'll work from home. All right. I want to get back, John. I want to get back go to back, this. So. You wake up. You put your turkey in the oven. What do you do next? Have a beer. You have a beer at eight. In the March of the Wooden Soldiers it goes on at nine. What time is it? You don't watch the parade though. I DVR the parade. I watch the DVR. I watch the parade after dinner when everybody goes home. Really? Hundred percent. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Every year. Every year. My girls. Creature of habit, right here, people. I get my I DVR the parade. I get yeah. my kids after yeah. dessert. After everybody leaves, about eight o'clock, we'll yeah. sit back in the couch because I'll I'll fast forward through stuff. Okay. Uh, we watch the parade at night. At night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The whole family. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They get bored because they're like, oh, it's the same thing. Blah, blah, blah. But and I'm like, but this is what we need to do. Okay. All right. And then you eat. You have you, you do your thing at like what three four o'clock. So say three o'clock. I'll, I'll have my cheeses and and, and my my salamis and, All right. and my olives and my okay. bruschetta. All right. Out. We'll eat. Okay. Uh, we'll hang out. We'll have some whiskey. 
some more beers. All right. Uh, uh, maybe about 4.30. Who's we? Do you all have whiskey or just you? Uh, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it depends on who's over. All right. Um, and then about 4.30, I'll pull out the bird, mashed potatoes. Nice. All, all the food. We'll eat. Some taters. Okay. And then about 6, we'll do dessert. Okay. And by 7, get the fuck out. <laughs> do you tell everyone, get the fuck out? Fuck out. <laughs> Kick them out. Because I got to watch the I gotta watch the bird. Yeah, yeah. Do do you have a tryptophan uh, comatose uh, turkey comatose at all? I don't know. I don't because I don't really eat that much of it. Like okay. I said, I'm eating all day. Friday on Black Friday, I'll work from home. Yeah, uh, I still work. I don't take the day off. Mm-hmm. I work from home. Uh, I'll eat my Thanksgiving for lunch. Yeah, all right. And I'll eat my Thanksgiving for dinner. Do you ever do a soup for Thanksgiving? No. I sometimes I'll do like a butternut squash or a. Uh, a uh, pumpkin, uh, you know, or something yeah. along those lines. Yeah, because that know. fills everybody's belly up. And or I want sweet them to potato eat, soup, yeah. Eat the stuff that I'm cooking, and, yeah. and then that's it. I may do and that. everybody will take their stuff home, you know. Yeah. And, but that's the thing. So when my in-laws say, wait, we'll do Thanksgiving, I'm yeah. like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I want the leftovers. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I want the leftovers because yeah. I'm not going to enjoy it. I want yeah. the leftovers. Yeah. You do Christmas, I do Thanksgiving. Although Christmas and Thanksgiving, it's really the same yeah. meal. If you think about it, it's the same meal. We used to do turkey for Christmas as well. It's the same meal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a little bit more live with what I do because I do watch the parade live. Yeah. My wife will break out the iPad. <laughs> live. And she will do stuff. When she's doing stuff in the kitchen, I, I do a... a I say this quiet. I do a good majority of the cooking. Um, oh, same with me. Yeah. I think I do all of it. Um, and she will, like I said, she'll do the stuffing the and stuff. Yeah, I'll do a lot of stuff beforehand. Maybe like if I'm doing something like deviled eggs, I'll do a day or two beforehand. Yeah. If I'm doing a soup, I can do that a day or two beforehand because I could just heat that soup up right. and everything. Um, and there's a lot I do, but we will wake up first thing. I mean, Grant, we have a son that's seven, so we will come <coughs> down. We will watch the parade. Um, and while we're doing that, you know, I, I'm not necessarily sitting there glued to the screen. And I'll work on whatever I have to work on for that day. I'll be quite honest with you. I got a lot of stuff that's prepared prior. Listen, what are you really preparing prior? So, I, like I said, I do my stuffing the day before. It's yeah. a lot of work. Everything else after that, what's really to prepare? Yeah. The turkey goes in the oven. Like I said, Potatoes you got to make fresh. Yeah. I do what the, else is there? Yeah. There's not too, it's not too bad. Right? It's not bad. It's not too bad. Gravy you can do within five minutes. It's not like Christmas Eve. Yeah. Christmas Eve to me is more intense. It's yeah. more involved. Well, Christmas Eve, I, yeah, we'll get it. We'll, that's another episode. But you're, you're I do frying, more like. You're breading. You're yeah, doing this. You're yeah. doing that. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that right. when it gets closer. We're but if you come down and think of it, Thanksgiving is not, unless you're having 30 people at your house, yeah. it's not that bad. Yeah. My in laws will do like the sweet potatoes. My, yeah. my, 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 my sister in law does a good sweet potato. Good. Um, I'm more of a sweet potato guy than a mashed potato guy. I love I'm sweet more of a mashed potato. I'm not, I'm not huge on sweet potatoes. Marshmallows. Yeah. And, syrup. Mm. and I'll do a corn casserole. Mm-hmm. I didn't say that. I do corn casserole. Uh, do you ever do corn casserole? No. Use the Jiffy corn corn muffin mix. Yeah. Cream corn, regular corn. Yeah. Sour cream. Yeah. Ooh, butter. You bake that in the oven. Ooh, it's good. Very good. Sounds good. Yeah, very good. Sounds good. Sounds good. But uh, yeah, I usually have my family come like. For, for like a four o'clock dinner or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's good. We have our drinks. We'll have our drinks throughout the like I'll have drinks throughout the day. My family, my mom, my um brother, my you know, and all the families and everyone comes. I think you get a lot more people than I do, yeah. I'm cooking for let's see, I'm cooking for uh five, seven about ten people. No, twelve. Twelve. Twelve people. All right, so I guess we're about the same then. Yeah, about a dozen. So four, there's eight, eight, nine, yeah. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, about 12 people. So my, we traditionally used to do it at my mom's house, uh, yeah. but we had a lot of family that lived up here, but a lot of family, in, um, including your father-in-law, have moved. Yeah, he's far away, yeah. So my, um, John's father-in-law, my uncle, uh, used to come over for Thanksgiving every year. Here? Um, here or your, your mom's? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, moms, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember even, like, after my Thanksgiving dinner, I'd go to your house, yeah. and we'd hang out, or we'd go out after, yeah. you know, yeah. And then I had uh, aunts and uncles that moved to Florida. I had a yeah. lot of family that moved down there. So the time it kind of worked, in a way. Um, so um, on my wife's side, um, she doesn't have a ton of family like I've 
I have, and it, it it's really just her parents yeah. that are over here. Her brother lives in Texas and stuff, so it's not that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And um, so every year it's like a yes, we're going to do something with her parents, um, which makes sense because you know you know we, we want to do something we want to spend Thanksgiving with them. So yeah. uh, we kind of did a combined uh, Thanksgiving with me, my wife, her side, which is her parents, and then yeah. my parents and my brother and you know whoever yeah. is in the area and that's what we do. I mean, I'm not going to there's been times where my parents invited my in-laws over to their house a yeah. lot of times. Yeah. You know, my my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law and their family spend a lot of holidays at my parents' house. Yeah. But then I feel bad. You know, yeah. it's like you're having all these extra people. My stepmother, like I said, does her 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 siblings sometimes and that's why I figure, you know what? Let's make it in every other. But you can do extra people if you're helping and you're bringing stuff too. No? Sure. Yeah. But I, I figure let's make it in every other thing. But you everyone know, gets along. Everyone gets along. That's the one thing I have to say. Everyone gets along. It, yeah. it, it's great. There's no anim- yeah. No, everybody. Everybody loves each other. I can just. Man. I'm, one I'm, I'm trying to picture family. my cousin Frankie and your dad having a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so my dad loves to make like racist Puerto Rican jokes, but it's all in fun though. It's all in fun. <laughs> And whether they not they get a kick out of it, I'm not sure. I always look at him. I'm like, Dad, stop! Please stop. <laughs> but he thinks they laugh. Uh, whatever it is. I can guarantee you, knowing my cousin, knowing my aunt Naomi, and knowing everyone, they're probably gonna crack up at him. Like <laughs> they, <laughs> everybody enjoys each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know what? My parents having everybody over, I'm thankful for. But you know what? They're older now, and it's not. It's not. They don't deserve it. You know, I know. Let my stepmother have her time well, with that's her the siblings. Thing too. I'll have my time with my wife, and then next year, I'll have my time with them. And it's a, it's the same with Easter. Yeah, I do the same thing with Easter every other year. And but I feel guilty for my mom now. I don't. You might be in the same boat. I feel because like now she's getting older. Like I don't want her to cook. I don't want her, and I think she kind of welcomes having it at my house now because I'm doing a good majority of that work. She will still bring like a, a roasted pork or something because you know it's a, a tradition we have. And I she mean, makes my a mom's a different story. Pork. I only see her on. Christmas Eve, that's it. Yeah. You know, we don't do any other holiday together. But you see her every year for a special time of year, and that's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. Although yeah. I think that's going to stop this year. Yeah. She's getting old. Uh, her her boyfriend's getting old. Uh, yeah. They're having a hard time driving and seeing. Uh, now we're getting dark early. Yeah. They're having a hard time. So we might do our own. We, we I might start changing things up. So yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens. Whatever works, man. Change with the times, you know? And you have to be understanding of, you know, what everyone else is going through. So that's yeah. what it's about, bro. On that note. With that, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Yeah. Uh, Wild Turkey, 70th. Happy anniversary. Happy <laughs> anniversary to us doing our uh, um, fourth. We're into our fourth season now. We're, we're doing our thing. Um, we're super stoked about Thanksgiving coming in a couple days. Exciting times. It's such a, such a special time of year, man. Listen, I, this is coming out Tuesday, two days before Thanksgiving. Yeah. If you guys have any Thanksgiving traditions or recipes that you can share, please, yeah. man, because I'm always looking to do new things. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, been fun, it's been a fun episode, <laughs> and we had some good beer, good bourbon, and uh, good times. Uh, family here, right here. Um, you know, that's what it's all about right now. You know, that's... Uh, Be thankful. Yeah. Friends and family. Yeah. Health. We love it. We love you all. Thank you. Yes. Cheers, John. Cheers, brother. I love you, man. Love you too, bro. Thankful for you. Cheers to you. All right.